Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a long footer. So if you wanted to put a footer uh, with text that is fairly long, you would find that you would come up to the default limitations of Excel. So for example, I think the default limitation is about 255 characters uh, for the footer. So let me give you an example. Uh, let's just pretend that we have, we're going to create some text that is more than 255. So I'm going to just going to repeat, use the repeat function here to repeat some text. I'm just going to repeat the, uh, the uh, at symbol here 255 times, right? Press enter. Uh, let me go ahead and just control C to copy and just cop copy this as values. So now these are values instead of that formula. So once I have that there, I'm just going to select everything. Let me go ahead and select this all. Control C to copy. Let me go ahead and uh, minimize that, close that. Whoops, press escape. Now I want to do is insert a footer. So I'll go to tab, the insert tab, go to the text group, header and footer, and I want to go down to the footer. So navigation, I'll just click, instead of scrolling like that, I can scroll down or I can just click the go to footer. Now if I tried to type, if I pasted this in, uh, let me go ahead and minim make this a little bit smaller here. Oops, let me go ahead and click outside that. Well, it's it's already telling me that it's, uh, it's too long. Uh, 255 is probably too long. Let me go ahead and just delete one of these and click outside and see if it takes it. Now, let me go ahead and delete one more. Oh, uh, it took that one. And let me go ahead and just minimize this. So you can see here that in addition to the uh, long footer, uh, it also gets obscured because it's a footer. It obscures by the printable uh, area. Looks like the, this minimum is probably 253 here. So plus or minus, uh, I, I've seen it on sites where it says 255, but we can see here 253 characters is all it takes. What if we wanted to have more than 253 characters? Um, let's say this is a we have some kind of a blurb at the bottom that spans a lot more than that. Well, there's a workaround to that. So instead of uh, inputting text in the footer, what we can do is uh, create the text in another program and paste it in as a picture. There we can bypass the uh, 250 plus uh, limit for the characters. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, these characters. Let me go ahead and uh, let's say, let me go back actually to go up here to my uh, cell here where I copied it earlier and this is the 255. I'm going to go ahead and control C to copy and go into PowerPoint. Let me go ahead and go into PowerPoint. So if you have Excel, most chances that you would probably have PowerPoint too. So I'm going to go into PowerPoint and in PowerPoint what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to insert a text box. So I go under insert, uh, go under the text group, click on text box and kind of draw a text box out. And since I copied those uh, 255 at symbols, I'm going to go ahead and control V to paste them in there. So once that's done, I'm going to take this text box and cut it. So I'm going to select that and you see now the solid line is around there. I'm going to go ahead and cut it or you can also type or use the keyboard combination control X that will cut it. And I'm going to paste it in as a picture. So I'm going to paste it back in as a picture. Now when I paste it back in as a picture, you'll notice that I can't uh, I can't go ahead and um, do anything with it. It's a picture, except to do some picture formatting. But what I can do now is I can probably want to reduce the size because uh, there are some intricacies. It's going to be a trial and error where we want to check out the size that fits into the footer. So I'm going to go make this a little bit smaller here. So once I do that, what I can do now is I can save this image since I pasted it back as an image. I can save it as an image. So I'm going to right click, go under Save Picture, and I'm just going to save it here and I'm going to save it as, you can either save it as a JPEG or a PNG. I personally like the PNG format so I'm going to save it as a PNG here. Click on save. I'm going to go back into Excel now. So I'm back in Excel and I am in the footer so you can see that I have my header and footer tools contextual. So what I need to do is under the header and footer elements here we're going to insert a picture. So once I click on that it's going to ask me to browse for my picture and I'll go and find my picture which is here. Click insert and you can see that it doesn't really show anything right now but that's because I'm in the, um, I, when you lack of a better word, I'm in the editing mode of the header and footer tools. So if I click outside of it, you'll notice now the picture of the footer is now there but you also notice, let me kind of screw up a little bit here, you'll notice that it's obscured by the uh, grids here. Uh, so basically 
we have probably have to do some layout. So there's some there's some sacrifice we either have to do is change our layout or change the size of the picture. So in this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and just change the the layout. So I'm going to go under page layout and in the margins, I'm going to move that up a little bit. So I'm going to click on margins and go to custom margins and by default I have it here at at the bottom margin at 0.75 maybe I'm going to move it up a little bit move it up to maybe 1.25 and see how that looks All right. since I moved up 1.25 inches you see now the entire image of that footer is now there and so we can use this let me go ahead and go into print preview and see what that looks like so right now I'm going to print preview uh, you can see that my footer is all there in its entirety and basically it's an image of course up here was the uh, bunch of uh, at symbols that were in the cell but see this is now how we can get our footer that is a little bit more than or 255 or a little bit more than 255 over uh, in the footer so you don't have to worry about typing too much text you can just basically put text as an image in there so I hope this helps thanks for watching